Let's unravel the mysteries of Outlook's auto archive features. You've probably seen it pop up and ask, do you want to archive your old items now? And you always wonder, where does that where do those messages go when they get archived? Well, I'll show you. And I'll also show you how to keep your inbox size manageable uh, by using the auto archive feature. You probably have a limited size of your mailbox and when you get too much mail built up in there uh, you receive messages that your mailbox is full and all sorts of bad things start to happen. So the first thing you need to know is how do I find out the current size of my mailbox. In order to do that we will look in the all mail folders pane of Outlook. This is Outlook 2003 if you have a different version of Outlook, let me know and I can create a video for that version. In the All Mail folders, we can scroll around, but at the top, you'll find the words Mailbox followed by your name. This is what we're interested in. Right click it and select Properties. Now in this window, we'll have a button that says folder size. Click that. There's lots of information about the sizes of various folders in here, but of course we're interested in the total size of all of our folders and that information is displayed here. In this case, the size of my mailbox is 33,804 KB, which is approximately 33 megabytes. So if you have a mailbox size limit, for instance, of 100 megabytes, that would be about 33-34% the maximum size of my mailbox. Let's close these windows. And now we're going to go up to the Tools menu in Outlook. Then we'll click Options at the bottom. And there's a lot of tabs here. We're interested in the Other tab and we'll find that the auto archive button is right here. I've already set up my uh, Outlook to do auto archive but let's talk about the default settings of Outlook as well. By default Microsoft auto archive will run auto archive every 14 days. This means that every 14 days or two weeks is how often it checks to see if you have old in mail in your mailbox. We'd like to do it more often than that so I set it to run auto archive every single day to check for old mail that should be sent to the archive folders and thus not count against whatever my mailbox limit is. Now that message we talked about that comes up and says would you like to archive your old items now we can get rid of that and have Outlook just go ahead and do the archive without telling us anything about it by removing the checkbox under prompt before auto archive runs. Just get rid of that and it'll run in the background without bothering you at all. Now you've always wondered where those items go. If you click show archive folder in folder list then you'll be able to see where those items go and we'll show you that in a minute. Again, by default, Outlook is set to clean out items older than six months. I choose to set this to four weeks. For me, it's kind of the sweet spot, if you will, that uh, I never have to worry about my e email box filling up, and I just let it go, and I don't ever have to manage my email. Uh, I always have enough space in my mailbox, and anything that's over four weeks old in my inbox or my sent items or uh, any other folder with the exception of uh, calendars and contacts uh, goes to the archives if it's older than four weeks. And I know that if it's older than four weeks, I'll go to my archives to look for it. You certainly want to make sure that this is checked. Uh, by default it is, but it doesn't hurt to double check because the other option here is permanently delete old items. We do not want to do that. Once you're done setting your settings, go ahead and click 
apply these settings to all folders now. Once you've done that, your auto archive is set up and will start to work. Now, because we clicked on show archive folders and folder list, we can scroll this scroll bar down and find archive folders. Please excuse the fact that I have two archive folders. That's for my own technical reasons. Under archive folders, you will find, let's make this window bigger, that your folder structure is mirrored. Maybe not immediately, but as the archive happens, it keeps things in the same folder so you don't have to reorganize them. Here I have inbox, and under inbox I've created backup, help desk, and track it. And in archives, it's the same thing. Now the important thing to know about your archive folders is that it's stored on your computer, not on the email server or anywhere on the network. So if your computer crashes, you could lose all of those messages, although that's unlikely. You can ask your IT department to store your archive folders on the network somewhere, and they can help you set up Outlook for that. Also, if you get a new computer, make sure you let your technician who is providing the new computer know that you need your archive folders from Outlook transferred to the new computer, and they'll take care of that for you. That's about all there is to auto archive in Microsoft Outlook. And set up right, you should never have to worry about your mailbox filling up again.